Good morning and welcome back to our study in the book of Lamentations. We're just looking at Lamentations chapter 5 verses 10 to 13 today and then we'll comment on it. Here's our reading. Our skin is hot as an oven because of the fever of famine. They ravished the women in Zion, the maidens in the cities of Judah. Princes were hung up by their hands and elders were not respected. Young men ground at the millstones, boys staggered under loads of wood. So again, this is chapter 5 of Lamentations. This is where we kind of come back to the, the terrible, desolated situation in Jerusalem, the kingdom of Judah, and how the people are now sort of starting to turn back to God. And what do we have here? Again, more descriptions of this desolation. And you heard what they were. Famine, rape, indignities. Leaders, some of the, the big leaders, you know, hung up by their hands. So here you hear them. Famine, rape, and indignities, like some of the some of the leading people of the of the nation, hung up by their hands. It's a it's a terrible picture. Hard labor is described here, and so this is a situation after again the kingdom of Babylon came, invaded, took over everything, uh, took many people off into captivity, and killed the rest. And so these are the people that are left, and they're at hard labor and and suffering every kind of indignity you can think of, and now they've they've beginning to recognize God withdrew his protection from them because of their unfaithfulness, and now they're starting to turn back to him. So look at the picture that they are looking at. Everything is worse when we do hubris. That's the lesson here. When we are haughty and big and bold and say, well, don't worry, God, we've got this. We're going to take care of it our own way. Thank you very much. Always ends in disaster. So this is a lesson not only for the kingdom of Judah back then, but now in our day, what do we have lesson here? What happens if the church the church goes off to face this big secular Goliath over here, this big false religious giant over here? We're, don't worry, God, we'll take care of it. We're, we've got it under control. We'll do it ourselves. Don't give us too many tips. We'll get it. We can't do it that way. We've got to go back to the word, back to God's, what he's revealed. He'll show us how we can go through. You know, and all who live godly in Christ Jesus, the Bible tells us, will suffer persecution. So, you know what, we should plan that uh, this isn't going to be a smooth ride. I think we're used to planning for this to all be some kind of a smooth ride. We're just going to coast on in, get the t-shirt, and, and have a big rock concert at the end. Sing praise to God. It will not be that way. It's going to be a challenging ride, but it'll be worth it. Every moment will be worth it. Uh, heaven will be cheap enough when we actually are in the presence of Jesus our Lord. So let's be careful. Let's learn the lesson. Uh, they, they did it the hard way. We can learn it from them by saying, oh yeah, that's not the way to do it. And let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right with you. You've shown us through history uh, good approaches, approaches that work, and bad approaches, approaches that don't work. In Lamentations, we're seeing an approach that didn't work. You had to lead your people through a very hard path to repentance. Maybe we have to do that too, Lord, but uh, whatever the broader group want, we pray, Lord, that our hearts will be softened, that our hearts will be ready, and that we will turn and be ready to follow Jesus all the way. Oh, Lord, may these may we be able to avoid some of these needless hard things, and instead may that energy that would otherwise be spent facing these tremendous psychological, civilizational challenges, may we be able to spend that same energy winning hearts to your kingdom. Lord, this is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, however it works out, we got to be doing the Lord's work. He'll see us through. And we, if we could only spend more of our energy doing God's work instead of spending so much of our energy being distraught and amazed at, at uh, the, all the hard things that happened to us when we weren't obedient. So anyway, may God be our helper in these crazy hours. And, and God be with you today.